It's a little after one o'clock, which is later than what I normally like vlogging with you guys, but it is how I started my last one too, isn't it? Basically, woke up this morning, realized I forgot to sign out on my vlog last night, so I had to come out here and do it. Bowser kept me up really late last night because there was a storm that rolled in. So I had to stay up with him and hold him and comfort him through the night and it kind of sucked. I was so tired, I just wanted to go to bed, but I had to be there for that one. And now he's been like super clingy and needed today. I think he's apologizing. I also went ahead and got in my workout for the day. Typically on days like this, I like to lift, but I did just a bunch of body weights today and an ab circuit, which really pumped up my abs. And I felt like so fit when I was done with it. I was gonna share it with you guys because it's something that everybody can really do during this time that they're stuck inside. You don't need weights to do this. Um, and you can even modify some of the things if you don't uh, have like a fireplace mantle and stuff like that. But I did a warm up walk outside for about a mile. I came back inside and I did supersets. If you guys have been watching my vlog for a while now, you know that a lot of my exercises are supersets. So for the first exercise that I did, I did um, sit ups. I did four sets of sit ups, 30 reps each. And then I did reverse crunches, four sets, 20 reps each. And then the next one I did was the plank up downs. I did four sets of 20 reps and then four sets of 20 reps of plank toe touches. The next thing I did was twist. I did four sets of 40, and then I followed it with alternating knee to elbows, four reps of 36. And then mantle squats, I did three sets of 20, and then I did um, one leg raised hip thrust, three sets of 20, and then a bonus, I didn't do, but something that you could do if you want to hit all, you know, muscle groups or whatever, you can do elevated push-ups. And I just wrote down three sets of 15. So that was kind of like a full body workout in a way today, but it definitely burned more calories than I was expecting. But I am totally fine with that since I didn't feel like lifting today. And originally I thought my friend Hannah was going to be coming over um, to pick up my wedding dress since I was wanting to get out of the house since we pushed it back. But it doesn't sound like she'll be able to make it over today. So, oh well. Now we're waiting for Ian's parents to come over. They're going to bring us some immunity boost thing then the rest of the day will be of a live video and just trying to keep distracted and away from eating and stuff like that I have to go through my messages and stuff again today as well now that I got my workout out of the day I kind of feel like I have more time to focus on everything again so that's good I just want to update you guys let you know what's going on it's a fasting day and I haven't eaten yet which is great um, trying to stay away from the food and everything of course but I am kind of feeling like maybe another cup of coffee would be beneficial to me I don't know I just love warm coffee drinks and it just sounds kind of good right now but oh well I'll let you guys go and I will talk to you later on this afternoon It's a little past nine o'clock right now. I've made it through the fasting day, which is good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to because it's Friday. Fridays always suck. I have a hard time getting through Fridays, but today has been good and I was able to do it, which means tomorrow is the weekend and I'm excited to eat on my eat day. It's gonna be a really weird Sunday it being a fasting day because I'm so used to eating both Saturday and Sunday. So this whole new challenge is a real experience for me for sure. This past week has basically been my regular alternate day fasting schedule, but this weekend's gonna be weird. It's gonna be so weird going back to that every other day schedule. Today we got in a couple walks and did a live video. I baked some cookies <laughs> for Ian and uh, we watched a documentary. I've been writing out recipes in my notebook that I have from Tasty that I've been recording every time their recipes pop up on Snapchat because they have so many great looking ones. And so I screen record them but they're taking up so much space on my phone that I need to write them down and get them out of my phone so that way I'll have them for future reference if I decide to ever use them. <laughs> That's kind of all we've done today. It's been okay, you know, not super productive. I feel like I could have gotten so much more done today, but at the same time, it's kind of also been nice to just chill for a little bit and not feel like I have to do a whole bunch of things. It's really weird just not being able to go anywhere really or do anything and I just don't want to fall into depression like I know a lot of people are doing. We're very, very fortunate to be able to leave our homes when there's people who can't, so I try to keep that in mind. This is probably the last time I talked to you guys today, so just kind of wanted to catch up, say what was up, and um, it's been a good fasting day. I've made it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week, which is great, because we know how bad I struggle on those days, so at least I was able to do that.
I'm gonna let you go though, so I can get ready for bed. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Well guys, I am just now vlogging for the day and it is 4.40 in the afternoon. It has been a really emotional day for me. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know today would have been my wedding day, but because of everything that's going on in the world, it is not. And it's been really hard for me to cope with the fact that it's not happening today, especially with as nice as the day as it is, even though it is super windy. Um, it's just been really emotionally taxing on me and it sucks really bad. But I know that there's a lot of other things that are going on in the world things that you know are worse than having to postpone your wedding and um, I think the thing that scares me most about it is the fact that I don't know when we're gonna get married now that's the part that sucks but anyway let's not talk about it today for breakfast I made avocado toast with some eggs and it was so tasty and very delicious we had that and then got out of the house thankfully and went for a hike in this park kind of near us there was so many people there but the trail that we took there was nobody on it because it was so extremely muddy i counted that as my exercise today because it was kind of like a hike more than anything and we walked close to four miles doing it so that was my exercise for the day a lighter cardio type of thing but i'm okay with that i didn't think i was going to be mentally able to work out today anyway so getting out and doing the hike was nice and then after that we came home and i made myself like a turkey sandwich nothing too fancy for lunch just turkey sandwich with some yogurt but like I told you guys, since I've been so emotional today and it's been such a hard day for me, I've been finding myself wanting to eat everything. So I'm trying to keep myself as distracted as possible. So that way I'm not wanting to do that. It's just really hard I'm trying to keep from it. But currently you guys can tell I'm in my car driving somewhere. I have to go to my mom's to get something and then I'll be coming back home. I'm not doing well with the whole social distancing thing because I'm such a social get out, go somewhere, do something every day type of person. But with everything being closed and not being able to get out and things like that, it's really putting me into a depression and I don't like that. I haven't been doing my hair or doing my makeup or getting dressed or anything and it just is really, really hard to get up and want to do anything and it's like I constantly feel myself wanting to get up and do things but then it's like I can't and at the same time I just want to lay there and do nothing and I just don't like that it's not good for my mental health and I know a lot of people are going through it right now so please make sure you're checking up on one another because it's really important at a time like this that we're all checking on one another making sure everybody's okay like I said I gotta go up to my mom's and grab something and then I'll be coming back home and spending the evening with Ian I'm not really sure what we're gonna do for dinner my plan currently is chicken parmesan with some of the um, impossible zero carb noodles we'll talk more about that later when the time gets here that we're making it with me let you guys go and I will talk to you later on tonight and hopefully by then my mood will be a little bit better. We'll see. Good morning guys. As you know I only checked in with you one time yesterday because of how emotional I was and how much I was struggling mentally with the whole day. So I didn't really talk to you guys and tell you what all was going on or what happened. And um, I mean, not too much did other than the fact that I felt like I didn't want to get out of bed at one moment and the next I felt like I couldn't sit still. And it was the most annoying thing. I don't know what my mood was doing. I think or feel like I was slipping into a really bad depression, which um, wasn't playing very well on my mood and my mind. And it just was really hard. So like I told you guys yesterday, I had to go to my mom's house to get something and my brother convinced me to stay for a little bit. And we ended up kind of going bike riding back up on the trails at the park by my house where I grew up. And it was super invigorating because my bike is a one speed bike and it's very hilly at that park. And be able to push myself up those hills with just my legs and standing on the bike, you know, it was just something I never have been able to do before. And I really surprised myself with the strength that I've had and it kind of shows me all the progress I've made in a no skill victory way, which was really cool. But after I came back home from my mom's house, I made dinner for Ian and I. 
We had chicken parmesan made in the air fryer, which was perfect. It was so good. I probably should have cooked the chicken just a little bit longer or made the slices a little bit thinner, um, but it was cooked all the way through. I just feel like I would have preferred for it to be a little bit more done, if that makes sense. We did that though with some of the impossible noodles and I made some breadsticks out of the last two uh, zero carb hot dog buns that we had, but they didn't turn out that great, unfortunately. Probably should have sliced them in half and made four instead and maybe got like the light butter into the bread instead of just putting it on top. Oh well, next time I'll probably just end up making my own breadsticks anyways, but they were no Olive Garden breadsticks in other words. After that, Ian and I sat down and uh, just kind of watched some TV. I had myself a bowl of ice cream and put some of the keto, um, the perfect keto butters that they sent me on top of it. Let me show you which one. I believe I put the snickerdoodle keto nut butter on top. This is one of the things that they sent me as a gift that I've been trying and it was pretty good. Um, it kind of hardened up because I believe it has coconut oil in it. Maybe not the coconut oil. It could have been the MCT oil. Not really sure what that means. But um, I know people who do keto knows what that means. Regardless, it kind of hardened up so it was kind of like a hard shell top of ice cream and it was really good that way. So I had some of that though. And then afterwards we went to bed and woke up not too long ago and now we're getting to it. I just made myself a cup of coffee that I'm going to go grab here in a second when I'm done talking to you guys and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes. I think I wanna go through all my cookbooks and find really good recipes. Bowser's chomping away on his food per usual. We always know he likes to do that whenever he sees me get on my camera and start talking to you. <laughs> I'm feeling better today, which is good. And today's a fasting day because I went back to that alternate day fasting schedule. So I'm excited to see how well I do. Um, I'm saying how well I will do because you know, usually the weekends are whenever I was eating both days now, but I decided to change that schedule for my 95 day challenge. But anywho, I'm gonna let you guys go so I can get started on my day, 9.30 now. So some things to do. And I will talk to you guys later on today. It has been a very, very lazy day for me today. I have not done anything but been working on this painting for my sister. It's a series of three that she saw in like a bathroom and one of these places she went to go see a concert at and she loved them and she sent them to me and asked if I could paint them for her like over a year ago. So I've kind of taken the time to do this today um, for her and kind of send it to her as a surprise. So I'm excited to get them done and sent off to her and I've been working on them all day. I mean, it's probably been six or seven hours now that I've been working on these. And um, I've been watching the Tiger King documentary on Netflix. Like I know a lot of people are into it right now, but I don't really see that big of a deal behind it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not into it as much as everybody else is, but so I'd give it a try because it's what everybody's talking about. And um, I also broke my fast today and ate. And I'm not super mad at myself about it because you know, I still was able to fast completely for the first three days of this week. And um, with this being my first week going back to the alternate day fasting schedule, having just one thing today or what I had today isn't that big of a deal to me. I ended up making myself some fries and put some cheese on them in the air fryer because it just sounded good. And then I basically ended up finishing the last of the Perfect Keto nut butter packets that they sent me. The packets don't have a lot in them if we're honest. Um, and there wasn't very much left in them and I'm trying to get rid of that stuff out of my cabinets and it was just there and I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and have them. They're low carb. I know the fries weren't, but whatever. But that's all I've had today. I'm sure it was over 500 calories in total, but like I said, going back into complete alternate day fasting schedule, like what I'm wanting to do, might take a little bit of getting used to and I'm not too mad at myself for what I did do today. So I wish I could have made it through, but I didn't. So... Oh well. Um, besides that, like I said, I've been painting and lazy and I know that I'm only at 254 calories burned and it's past 5 o'clock. Um, and I'm just really enjoying this rest day and not having to do anything. But I am going to go on a bike ride whenever I get done finishing this one. I have two more I have to work on, but um, just kind of get out and get some fresh air again because I don't want to be stuck in my house and cooped up. I can't let myself sink into that depression. So i got to get up and moving here in a little bit so that way I'm not doing that. But just wanted to update you guys, say what was up. I haven't been able to make it completely through the full fasting day, but that's okay. Life goes on. I'll talk to you guys later. It 
if you guys can guess what time it is and guess that it is maybe nine o'clock on Monday morning, then you're right. I was uh, bad and didn't vlog again last night. I've been doing really bad at not vlogging out the night before. Mostly just because I'm so tired and don't think about it or just there isn't much to report. So like last night, for instance, there wasn't really much to report. I finished the painting, I went on my bike ride, I came home and uh, we watched the second Back to the Future and then went to bed. And I didn't eat anything else, which is good because technically I think I had about 700 calories for the day, which isn't that bad. It's only 200 calories over the 500 calorie crutch on those fasting days. So like I said, I'm not too upset about it. And I've kind of come to learn not to be so hard on myself, especially during this time. Some positive things to think about are, I fasted for three days this week completely, which was awesome. I listened to the signs of my body and I ate a little bit of something, which is fine. Just some things here and there, some things I listed actually on the 95 D Challenge group. If you guys are interested in joining that, I'll link it in the description below. Um, we are already a week into it, but that's fine. You can join whatever you want. Don't feel like you have to like, wait to join just because you didn't join it right at the beginning we're always accepting new members and it's just a really great support group everybody's so kind and nice and i have so many people i talk to every day on the live chat which is awesome and it's just a really empowering group and i'm really glad that i decided to make it because i've met a lot of people and it's really nice but anyways enough that like i said i didn't have too much else to report last night so that's why i didn't vlog now it's nine o'clock in the morning and um, I'm ready for my coffee. And so I'm gonna get up out of bed finally and go do that thing. But I wanted to go ahead and sign out of the vlog. Um, just talk about the week in general. The week overall was good. Being able to fast Monday, Wednesday, Friday was awesome. That I was able to hit Friday at all was an accomplishment in itself. I really showed myself how much more physically active I am with the bike ride that I did on Saturday with my brother. Um, I've been riding the bike more around the neighborhood here as well. And things have just seemed as good as they can be. Saturday was so bad for me. I was not okay. I really appreciate everybody who reached out and told me that it was okay to not be okay because without that I would have felt so much worse I think. So thank you if you did reach out to me and tell me it was okay. I really appreciated that. With all that being said, let's go ahead and sign out this week's vlog and say thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching. I really, really appreciate it and I will catch you guys on the next one.